Jay Woodson took a swing at golf pretty early, but growing up, he found success in many sports. My father fell in love with golf, so if he liked playing, then I was going to find a way to join him just to be, be with him. So uh, father was a football coach. And he was the quarterback, so every time we have a timeout and we need to think about the next play, of course it was a pass. But he was very successful. He was very successful and we had a blast. An all-state quarterback at Powhatan High School, Woodson attracted the attention of several college football coaches. They, very, they were very impressed with his athletic ability and obviously his grades. They knew the writing on the wall because he started really performing well in golf his junior year. So everybody knew, hey, we're not going to go too crazy for this guy because he's going to be a great golfer. But golf didn't become the sport for Woodson until by chance his dad was paired with Dr. Bob Rotella, noted author and golf psychologist during a tournament at Green Hills Country Club. We started mentioning, you know, family and I told him I have a young golfer and he's coming up and he's really learning and uh, he's got some shortcomings here and there, but he's got awesome potential. And Bob made the comment, he said, hey, if he ever wants to come up, wants to talk to me, tell him to do so. And I, I took him up on that. You know, I was, again, just kind of a raw talent and, and didn't really know what I could do or couldn't do. And uh, we got out uh, and played nine holes and we got done. And, and Doc said, you know, hey, you, you would be top 10 in driving distance on the PGA Tour if you were, if you were playing with the big boys. And I was like, wow, <laughs> I, could actually, I could actually do this. Woodson's parents were both JMU alums. His father, a former football player for Chalice McMillan, and his mom had been a four-year member of the cheerleading team. So when JMU golf coach Paul Gooden took notice, there was plenty of common ground. He's, he's a football coach coaching golf, if that's the best way to describe it. Um, he's an intense guy. Uh, he demands a lot from his players, which worked out well for me. I, I, again, I grew up in a, in a family that had a football coach as a, as a dad, so um, I fit right in with his mentality. I knew I had the best athlete. Jay at the time wasn't per se recruited as the best golfer in the state of Virginia, but I knew I had the best athlete. And I could see a real upside in, in Jay, knowing that if he put full time and effort into golf versus, I mean, he played sports all year long, which was fantastic and I liked that. I knew he would be the best golfer in the state, by far. And Woodson caught everyone's attention pretty quickly. Jay was long. Jay could really hit the ball a long ways. In fact, I would have to get after his teammates because everywhere we'd go, all they would do is, hit it hard, Jay, hit it hard. And I said, guys, we gotta stop this. Talk about his putting, his chipping. I always considered him a great putter. You know, Jay came in the best recruiting class um, that I had at JMU. Um, Jay also, you know, he came in that transition period um, where we were, we had scholarship, and then we went through that transition where our program lacked scholarship. So some of his teammates that were on the team at the time, you know, left for different reasons. Uh, but Jay stayed with us, and um, he basically held our program together. They took a chance on me to, to come in to play golf there, so I was gonna take a chance on them and stay. Um, and it obviously it worked out. So, you know, the, the golf department, the golf program stayed. Um, and then that's when I, I really got serious about uh, what I wanted to do and what, was, what would possibly be the next step. And that next step would be the Virginia State Amateur. I had never qualified for it. Um, I tried a couple, quite a few times and, and, and didn't even get into the tournament. And so the, the year that I finally got in, 2002, they were playing down at Bayville in Virginia. And I remember we went and played the golf course. And I remember Coach Gooden saying, this course is perfect for you. You, know, you can win this, you can win at this tournament. I was like, Coach, I'm, I'm just, I just qualified for the first time. This is the first time I've ever made it to this tournament. To, to Paul, that was the belief that he had in his players. If he thought you could do something, he kind of pushed you into doing it and making yourself uh, believe in it. Gooden's prediction was spot on. Woodson would go on to win the state amateur in 2002 and then again in 2003. Well, Jay is one of just a, a few people in the state of Virginia to be able to win the state amateur uh, two years in a row, back to back. And then you're talking about names like Lanny Watkins, Curtis Strange, Vinny Giles. I mean, great, uh, the best golfers 
to ever play out of Virginia. Um, you know, winning those two two tournaments and then even playing in some other nationally ranked uh, tournaments uh, later those summers, yeah, it, it kind of gave me the confidence that, uh, you know, you, you may have a chance to, to turn professional and, and play and do this as a living. After consulting with his dad and golf great Curtis Strange, a personal friend, Woodson determined that turning pro was the right decision. He quickly registered a win at the Michelob Ultra Classic in Myrtle Beach in June 2004. And in 2012, Woodson again made big news in Virginia at the State Open as he tried to become only the seventh golfer to win both the State Amateur and the State Open. And then finally in 2012 uh, at Independence Golf Club in, in Richmond, I was able to to get my first title and it's like once that happened you know the, the doors opened and I was like wow I can I can do this uh, and then proceeded to win the next year in 2013 uh, and then 2014 they moved it to Ballyhack and Roanoke and won again to win three straight Virginia Open titles. And after a runner-up finish in 2015 Woodson again claimed first place in 2016 making it four wins over a five-year period. His name will be in the record books uh, in Virginia forever with some of the, the greatest names uh, to ever play the game. In 2013, Woodson was invited to play in the Golf Channel's reality show, Big Break Mexico. And a year later, won the program's 18-hole Invitational All-Star Tournament with a four under par 68 including this dramatic up and down for a clinching birdie on the closing hole. For his JMU career, Woodson was a three-time All-CAA selection and two-time All-State player, and he was named to the CAA's 25th anniversary team. In his senior season, he was CAA Player of the Year, a member of the NCAA East Regional Team and the JMU Male Scholar Athlete of the Year. And he helped, I'll say, save our program and um, move us to the direction that I think uh, the coaches and team have today and where I think golf is really becoming a major sport at James Madison. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member of the James Madison University Athletics Hall of Fame, Jay Woodson.